Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bill. I am that expat prepper that lives in the Philippines. Today I did something interesting um, and fun. What I did was I had ordered a 3D printer and it was the Creality Ender version 3SE. I'll put a link down below. I'm not affiliated, nothing. I paid for this. And the reason was is because if you saw my Laura videos, you know that I'm working with Meshtastic. And I was just trying to figure out how to buy some cases. And then I realized, you know, I should be, be able to print my own things when I want it. Granted, you know, you have to find software for what you want to print and then you have to clip it and a bunch of other stuff. But however, for a lot of things I wanted, like these cases, the software was out there free. So I'm doing a first run right here of one of the frame mounts that I like for the Health Tech version three board. But I guess the whole point about this is that I really want to just do a quick video and say, um, if you really want to up your prepping game, um, get a 3D printer. Um, it could be a hobbyist one like this one, which is, you know, is around 200 bucks. I can't remember what I paid for it. And I do have more um, filament on order. This happens to be the free stuff that came. I'm hoping it's enough to do this case, at least for this test run. Now, the reason I say it's a good prepping item, because sometimes, you just need something right away and if you have the ability and if you have the file for what you use a lot already you can just go ahead and print it yourself now unless you're a CAD engineer um, trying to create something new might be a little more difficult but it's possible but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and look for a bunch of things that are PVC or carbon filament based and I'm going to save off the STL files in case I ever need them in the future because keep in mind, if you really did hit the fan and you're printing your own parts, the odds are there's no internet. So I'm going to do some research into what things I should save off as STL files and put them on with my other digital ebooks. But again, I just wanted to show you how cool this is for a couple hundred bucks. It's actually cheaper for me to buy this printer and start making my own stuff than buying somebody else that's already created um, these designs and have them print it and ship it to me. So, you know, just two or three times of doing that and I am out the cost of just buying the printer for myself. All right, guys, real quick video. Um, if you're a prepper, get yourself one of these printers if you can afford it, learn how to use it, start creating stuff, and uh, that's it for today. Short video. Guys, have a nice day.